Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt, and as you can see, this is not my base. Nope, in fact, we are doing base reviews. I have not done base reviews in a while, so I hope that you guys are excited about this. Um, I'm doing this in Photoshop so that I can circle things um, and show you guys <clears throat> how I feel about stuff, but we're going to go over four Town Hall 9 bases today since I'm Town Hall 9. Um, I just felt like going over some. Uh, if you guys want a chance to be reviewed, send your uh, send a very high res picture of your base to base reviews with molt at gmail dot com, and in the description of your email or the subject line, you need to say what town hall you are, as well as what level you are. Um, if it doesn't have that, I'm not gonna pick it because I get hundreds of emails like this, and I need them to be very organized. So. Um, why don't we go ahead and jump into this and um, kind of draw this. And um, one thing that I really want you guys to think about is that a lot of the things I say about other bases, like this one, um, can apply to your base as well. So um, don't just think that only this person is getting something out of this review. You guys can get something out of it as well. So why don't we go ahead and jump into this review. Um, I like this base, it looks pretty good. Um, some of it is rushed, but that's okay. Um, I guess, because this isn't nearly as bad as a rushed base as I can see. Uh, so first of all, what I really like to see is the wizards um, spread out in a square like this, all the way around the base. So they pretty much cover the entire base, which is awesome. So that is a really, really good plus that I see right there. Um, he's upgrading two mortars at one time. Uh, generally, I would say don't do that because now pretty much this whole side of the base um, is not protected by mortars. But they're almost done, so I guess that's fine. Generally, I'll just do one of each, um, one of each splash damage at a time, and then upgrade other things while I wait, just so that I'm not really really down um, in defense and obviously since this is a trophy base right now you have one two three of your main splash defenses out of commission right now which um, is really gonna affect whether or not you win defenses or not um, I also love the fact that your mortars are triangulized that's perfect also the fact that your um, air defenses are triangulized so good job with that and another note guys I don't follow famous people's bases because I don't use other people's bases. I make my own. So if you guys have seen these bases before, um, I haven't. <laughs> so uh, I'm just doing bases that I think look pretty good and then people can learn from. So um, overall, the core of his of his base is really good. As you can see, he also has his clan castle in here. His expos are on either side of each other. Um, and the expos have awesome range. It does look like these are set to air and ground, which is... A really really good idea so um, good job with that the main thing that I really like about the base is its um, symmetry I love symmetry in bases um, I think that it makes them so much more effective so uh, for this base I would say especially since you're down at 1434 um, I wouldn't have a trophy base unless you're trying to push so I would take this guy and throw him outside unless you're trying to push and you're just starting off really low um, but otherwise, it's a really good base. I like it. I think that it looks good. Um, his name is Fire Nag, and he is in New Direction. Uh, so, cool. Good job with him. Uh, let's move on to the next base. Uh, this one I put in here because I feel like a lot of people's bases are like that. Um, this is I'm Savage, and he's level 50. Level 50 at Town Hall 9. That's never a good sign that's always a sign of a rusher and obviously as you can see from the base it is very very much rushed um, guys don't go up in town hall just to get expos or something like that because even though he has these expos like everything else around it is really low level and you're gonna lose the expos aren't gonna make you win uh, so I'm just going to say that up front. It's very, very rushed. Um, try not to do that. <laughs> All right, so next, why don't, we talk about, why don't we talk about the layout a little bit? So the wizards are good, how they're spread out. Um, 
around the base, so that's awesome. Same with the air defenses. Now, the air defenses are a little bit close together, um, so I might, oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I would design the base differently, but um, the air defense, honestly, should should be a little bit further out because you're going to get areas like right here and right here that the air defenses don't touch. So um, I would definitely be careful with that, but the layout isn't um, too bad compared to a lot that I have seen. This little thing right here is completely pointless because if hog riders are coming to your base, they're not going to go straight through here to this dark elixir drill. <laughs> um, and if giants come through your base, they're not going to walk right through here either because both of those troops are based off of um, focus points, which are defenses. So if you drop down giants or hog riders right here, they're going to go straight here and they're going to go straight here. So that's pretty much a waste of traps and everything um, and a waste of walls, honestly. So um, if I were you, I would uh, scoot these army camps out a little bit maybe. Um, and then bring these walls and fill in this little area and pull out um, pull out this wall right here and put something else in there because right now it's really not being used effectively um, so yeah let's see what else we can talk about um, if I were you I would upgrade your wizards next um, because they're very very low level for Town Hall 9 um, and while, while those are upgrading and you don't want to upgrade all of them at once I would go with um, cannons because it looks like your mortars are are getting up there, but you still need to upgrade those as well. Um, it's going to be hard for you, man, because you rushed to Town Hall 9. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. I wish that my face cam was on because my cat just knocked down the curtains and it fell on her and she got trapped. Um, but I'm not doing face cam on this because it's going to block the bases. Um, but so that's what's going on with this base right now. Um, you, I mean, really all there is to say is that you rushed and it sucks that you did, but you'll get there. Just slowly upgrade. I'm happy that you're at least farming, so, um, yeah, and what is, what is up with these storages right here? Like, you can only hold 2,000 elixir? That's not good. You're not going to be able to upgrade any of your army camps, any of your troops, anything like that, so, uh, yeah, work on that. <laughs> uh, so that was I Am Savage, a level 50 Town Hall 9, very, very rushed. Um, let's move on to Extreme Atax, Extreme Atax, whatever. Um, let's go over his base. So, wow, it looks like he is actually going up to Town Hall 10 in this picture. Um, it was at 13 days, and I feel like this was probably sent to me over 13 days ago. So, Extreme Atax, uh, congrats on Town Hall 10. Um, it looks like you did rush Town Hall 10 a little bit, unless you were able to upgrade your cannons before all of them, and unless you were able to upgrade a lot of other stuff. Your mortars are looking good. Um, and your wizards could have been upgraded, but that's okay. Um, not nearly as bad as the last guy. So why don't we talk about the layout of the base on this? Um, first of all, you it is a farming base as you can see, and dark elixir is very important to you, um, since it is directly in the middle right there. Um, but I might consider putting your clan castle right there because the radius on your clan castle probably comes out to about right here something like that um so if some <laughs> obviously it's not exactly like that it's a horrible circle um but if somebody drops down barbarians or goblins right over here they're gonna be able to pull out your troops um which isn't good you want somebody to look at your base and see that your clan castle is right here in the middle and realize, okay, I'm not going to be able to pull out his clan castle troops. Do I really want to risk this? Um, because as y'all all have seen from many of my videos, in bases where the clan castle is in the middle and I'm raiding, um, the clan castle troops do a lot of damage. So I might consider bringing your clan castle in and putting your dark elixir right here. It's still going to be protected pretty well. You've got the, this wizard by it. You've got this expo by it. 
all of these mortars can protect it as well, depending on whether or not they're distracted. So I might switch those out. Um, but so far, it's looking pretty good. You have um, the same stuff I was talking about in the other videos with the uh, diamond shape air defenses, the diamond shape um, wizard towers, as well as the triangulated mortars. So you're doing good there. And um, looks like you have some Tesla traps all the way around the base, right here, right here, right here, and right here. Um, those are good for giants if somebody's running with giants. Um, but if people are attacking you with hog riders, that's not going to be too good because the hog riders, if they were set down right here, are going to go straight for this. And then, um, because they don't see the Tesla initially, then they're going to jump over right here. And some of them might, if they do hit that spring trap, then you'll do a good job. But most of them are probably going to go right here right here and then they're going to go straight from this Tesla and go right here. They're not going to go over the spring trap to this, <clears throat> to that um, resource collector right there. So um, it is good. I used to always do this at Town Hall 8, but I'm not too big into uh, Tesla traps like that anymore because I don't get attacked by giants that much at all. Um, you are in trip range 1849, so it could be a little bit different there. <sighs> Sorry, guys. But I'm not too sure about that, so that's just one thing I noticed about the base. Um, it's really, really good. Otherwise, um, I like how it's laid out. It seems like it's pretty well protected. Um, you've done a good job of alternating your point defenses, so you have cannon, archer, cannon, archer. You did do archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer. So that's good. You did that all the way around the base, which is awesome. Um, let's see what else. You've done a good job of keeping your, um, everything close to the walls, which a lot of people don't do. So you did a good job of keeping everything close to the walls so that your defenses can really protect and so that people can't get any free, um, any free, uh, trophies at all. But since you're farming, you don't really care too much about trophies. So that is fine. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee real quick. And if you guys heard that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, um, so that's pretty much it for um, Extreme Atax. Pretty good base, man. You're probably at Town Hall 10 right now. Uh, so, congrats on that. Let's go down to the very last one. This is Sam Woodward. He's been a sub for a long time. Um, I noticed his, uh, his little thumbnail on his uh, Gmail account was the same as his on YouTube. So, Sam, what's up? Thanks for all the support, man. Um, I th I feel like Sam has been around since I was at like 100 subs. He comments a lot. So um, I saw his base in there and I decided to do it. So this looks like an awesome, awesome base. Sam, you are crushing it. All of your walls are upgraded for Town Hall 8. You definitely maxed out your Town Hall 8. I can tell by all these walls. And these are what you've got from Town Hall 9. And it's cost you like... 10 million dollars, 10 million gold probably, which sucks. Um, but why don't we go ahead and talk about the base layout. So um, you have a big center core right here with your clan castle centralized, which is awesome. That is definitely going to deter people. Um, you have your triangulated mortars right here, which is great. You also have your um, diamond shape wizards, which are max. Great job on that, as well as your diamond shape air defenses and your diamond shaped Teslas. So good job with that. This base is actually really cool. Um, I don't know if I've seen it before, but it does look pretty good. Looks like this was around Halloween when you sent it. <laughs> so that shows that I haven't done base reviews in a while. Um, but the base looks really good. Uh, one thing that I do notice though is that your, obviously it is a farming base because your clan castle is outside right here but all of your elixir is really really close to the edge of the base um, so one thing that I might consider doing I see that you have your you have two archer towers right here in the middle um, I might somehow switch those archer towers out with some resources whether it's gold or whether it is elixir um, obviously you're doing pretty good on the elixir with five million of it 
And dang, that's a lot of Dark Elixir too. Um, but your gold is struggling. So I might bring in um, your gold storages right in here. And then maybe um, take these Archer Towers out and put them in those places. Uh, just so that you can protect your gold just a little bit more because um, it's a little bit exposed just like the elixir is um, but otherwise I mean if you think you're doing well with it then that's fine but uh, I might try and protect it just a little bit because these archer towers really don't need to be in the center um, they can be I've always thought that um, people always put their archer towers around the outside which is what I've always done too so it's really up to you, but um, I might consider doing that just to protect it a little bit more. Otherwise, man, your base is really, really good. It's upgraded awesomely. Awesomely, is that even a word? Well, we're going to make it one. <laughs> um, you're definitely crushing it right now, so um, good job, Sam. I mean, really, there isn't too much I can say about it. Um, one thing I might try and do is bring your heroes inside the base, just because when heroes are inside the base... They're a lot more stressful um, and a lot harder to pull out. Right here, somebody can just drop right here and just kill your king with 15 archers or something. Same with the archer queen. Um, so if those were internal, then that would make it a little bit harder for them to do that. Whew. Um, but Sam, I love the base, man. Looks awesome. Uh, I would love to be where you're at in the game. So great job. And I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We're running on 16 minutes. Um, if you guys want to be reviewed, go ahead and uh, send high-res pictures, guys. They need to be high-res, otherwise they look blurry. Um, so make sure that they're really good. Send high-res pictures to base reviews with molt at gmail.com, and I will see what I can do. All right, guys? So as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys rock. Um, we just hit 24,000 subs. Woo! Yep, that's all right. Super stoked about that, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. And hey guys, say it with me as always. Keep calm and clash on. All right, I'll see you guys later.